Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice, and welcome to our October forecasts. I hope you're doing well. We're doing things a bit differently this month. A lot of you have been asking, and I've been doing my best <laughs> to deliver. We're doing individual signs for the monthly, so this is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. And as always, take the messages as they resonate with you. If they do, flip the rolls if you have to, and watch all your placements in Pisces you get a little bit extra my second channel if you're not aware I have a second channel Pisces tarot and advice it's exclusively for Pisces placements wherever you have Pisces in your chart you go ahead over there and check out there's a bunch of readings available for you so if you didn't know now you know all right Pisces do me a favor and let me know if you want me to keep doing this format for the monthlies my schedule is a bit tight um, so if this is something that is worth it, it brings you joy, it brings you insight, input, it helps you, then it's worth my time. It's worth me making that effort for you and I'm happy to do it, okay? I just need you to let me know, basically. So you can like the videos, comment, do both, share, subscribe, engage with the videos, and that will give me good feedback and I'll keep doing this for you, all right? Okay, so let's see. You have, like I say, a bunch of readings on my Pisces channel, linked in the description box as well. You have a, a monthly video there already. You got weekly videos that I extend for my Pisces members, daily messages. You got a bunch of stuff over there. All right, let's see. What's going on for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in October 2024? Okay, so let's have a look. For Pisces in October. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Swords, Knight of Blades. And this can talk about speed, <laughs> speed and power, Jeremy Clarkson. Um, but it's, you know, similar energy where you just, you know your target and you're not backing down until you get there, right? Could be fast changes, fast developments, could be a bit of a Sometimes it can talk about conflict, okay, or tense moments because we're in the mindset of take no prisoners, so we're not very diplomatic, right? Or we're dealing with someone who's not very diplomatic, um, so they can rub people the wrong way, the Knight of Swords. But it's an energy of speed. It's an energy of fast change. Uh, so just get ready to make quick decisions. Get ready to switch focus, switch priorities, rearrange schedules, rearrange resources, redirect resources, to pursue your goals or to you'll be shown a faster way to get there a shortcut it's a month for you to adapt quickly i don't know let's see in the current situation we have the three of coins and this is an energy of teamwork collaboration cooperation so maybe it's not seeing eye to eye with someone on the team whether that's siblings uh neighbors people you work with okay um family i don't know for others of you, there's a change in the people you hang out with, people you spend time with, the people you work with, the environment you spend time in, the gym you go to, where you live, your neighbors. There's also fast growth, fast growth. In the challenge position, we have the Six of Wands. Interesting. So, Pisces, what this is, is you're going to be selected for something, you're going to win something. Um, and people you would normally get along with may get a bit jealous, may get a bit testy with the Knight of Swords. This is where, you know, you're going for a job and you haven't told the team you're working with, your coworkers, right, that you're going for that, the team leader job or the manager job of said team, right? You're not telling everyone that, hey, you know what, I'm going to go for that job and if I get it, I'm going to be managing, managing all of us, all of you. Um, type of situation and you get the job and then they feel some sort of way about it it's that energy of oh you got this Pisces and you think you're better than us okay or it can be and for those of you you might be double double thinking <laughs> thinking twice you might be uh, second guessing whether or not you should go for something apply for something or accept something because you're afraid of what people are going to think, you don't want them to think that, you know, you're too good for them or you're better than them or whatever. But you know what, Pisces, don't overthink things. 
on the mind page one here it is there's some sort of great news invitation message communication offer that's coming in it's gonna make you very happy and it's just this energy of it's just for you Pisces it's just for you and the foundation two coins yeah, you're really, you're really second guessing this because what this is, Pisces, in the month of October, you have an opportunity coming in and in order to pursue it, you're going to have to be more a shark than Pisces, more shark than fish, okay? Meaning, you're not out to get nobody, you're not out to hurt anybody. This is just where you're being rational, practical, and following your own goals and putting your interests first for a change and you know what some people are going to be sore losers and some people are going to have opinions but it's not about them at this point so don't make it about them see what i mean recent past eight of coins you put in the work you put in the effort you put in the dedication the consistency you're being rewarded for it this is where you're being given recognition above everyone else but you know what? It's because you deserve the recognition and not everyone else does. And it is what it is. It's just fact. You see what I mean, Pisces? So don't feel bad. Don't feel like you, you can't shine too bright because you're going to upset people. You can't stand out because you're going to upset people. Don't do that to yourself, Pisces. Life too short. Whatever this is, you deserve it. You have earned this. Knight of Swords is that shark energy, shark mentality. I want it. I'm going to get it. I'm not hurting anybody. That's not my intention. I'm not sabotaging anybody. I'm not. I'm just pursuing my goal. I'm not making it about anyone else. I'm not out to hurt anybody, but I'm not going to put their feelings and interests above my own either. You know, it's that kind of energy. And the overall outcome and advice, we have the seven of swords. Be mindful of that self-sabotage. King of swords. And the moon. This is guilt. The King of Swords is truth, the right decision, justice. The Seven of Swords in the Moon is self-doubt, is guilt, is self-sabotage. And the King of Swords tells me that you're going to pursue this despite the guilt, right? Because you're overriding it. It's still there. But you're going to pursue whatever this is anyway. I feel like there's going to be, there may be talk, there may be people gossiping and going, oh, I wonder what Pisces did to get this or who they did to get this. I mean, come on, people. You know what I mean? That's what I heard. So, um, Pisces, that's none of your business. Don't make it your business. Six of coins, the knight of swords. You want this, you deserve this. Ask and you shall receive. Why? Because you deserve it. Queen of swords, nine of cups. Ten of cups. You deserve this. You're going to get a yes answer, but you're going to have to be, not necessarily cutthroat about it, but like I say, a little bit of a shark. A little bit of a shark. Follow, pursue your interests. This is a month to put yourself first, your goals your career, your relationship, whatever makes you happy, whatever you're trying to achieve. Trying to please others is holding you back. Being overly mindful and trying not to upset anyone in life is holding you back, is detrimental to you. It's sabotaging yourself, okay? It's keeping you from being Successful, famous, recognized, moving up in the world. Now, I, again, I feel like whatever this is, you're going to you're gonna say, you know what, Pisces, get a grip. King of Swords is like, nope, this is the right thing to do. I don't care how I feel about it. I'm going to make it happen. People are going to talk. Anyway, so might as well give them something to talk about. Um... There's also an energy here of confidentiality. 
it's something where it's like you get this, you sign the contract, and you have, you still have to work your notice period, and you're not telling people, you can't tell people yet, right? And you're feeling a little bit iffy about it, and you're feeling a little bit guilty about it. But it is what it is, Pisces. Okay, obviously, if you're not doing anything illegal or immoral, you're just playing your cards close to your chest. You're just minding your business and sticking to your own plan and your own strategy. And there's nothing wrong with that. Okay? So, Pisces, this is what I have for you. Let me know how I resonate with the reading if you do. Um, give me some feedback if you want to keep this up. Keep me um, doing this for you, this kind of format. Hope you have a fantastic month. Check out your Pisces exclusive channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.